And now on the Health Watch, doctors in the UK have developed a groundbreaking gene therapy that targets aggressive blood cancers. It could offer new hope to patients with diseases once thought untreatable. CBS News Miami's Fergus Walsh has the story from London. I look at all these beads. <laughs> There's loads. Each one of these beads represents a procedure that Alyssa went through during her grueling cancer treatment, including two bone marrow transplants. She was the first patient in the world to have a new form of gene therapy which cleared her aggressive leukemia. That was three years ago. And this is Alyssa today, age 16 and still cancer free. I really did think that I was going to die and I wouldn't be able to grow up and do all the things that every child deserves to be able to do. Breathe in and breathe out. In 2022, Alyssa was given donor immune cells, which had been genetically modified using a new technique called base editing. This involved three precise changes to the donor white blood cells DNA, including making them resistant to chemotherapy and stopping them from attacking Alyssa's body. The cells were then armed to fight her cancer. A bone marrow transplant then rebuilt her immune system. A few years ago, this would have been science fiction, but now we can actually collect white blood cells from healthy donors and use them for their powerful immune effects by reprogramming them. The same technology that saved Alyssa's life has also been used to successfully treat the blood disorder sickle cell disease and may have potential with other forms of cancer. Fergus Walsh, BBC News for CBS News.